What's up? We're Rasta on your screen. And uh, today I'm at the local park here in Harlem. And uh, I wanted to record another vlog because uh, apparently that's what I do nowadays. So I wanted to talk about letting go of old habits, which is uh, something I struggle with every single day because I have an old pattern, which is being behind the computer all day, every day. And uh, it's a difficult pattern for me to let go. So I take steps in order to live a different lifestyle. So uh, I sold my computer, my best computer, I sold it. It's uh, like a big iMac and uh, I sold it to a guy who's, um, I sold it today actually, this morning. I sold it to someone who uh, was going to record uh, videos with it and uh, edit sound with it because he's a music musician. He has, uh, uh, what did he call it? It's not a lute. Oud, oud, that's what he called it. It's like an ancient uh, Syrian, he's from Syria, but he said it was also from Turkey. A kind of guitar, an old guitar. Uh, and he was very good at it. I looked him up on YouTube. He was very good at it. So I hope he will, I know he will use it in a proper way, this computer of mine. that used to be mine, it's no longer mine. And in exchange for that, I bought this, um, camera with uh, like a selfie stick kind of thing. It was an expensive selfie stick, an extra battery and now this is what I use um, because I no longer, I want to try not to consume as much because uh, I either play video games or I uh, watch a lot of stuff or I search a lot of stuff and I don't want to consume as much, I want to try and produce more. So this is my intention and wherever intention flows um, eventually we'll go there so that's what I'm trying to do here yesterday from in my enthusiasm I started speaking Dutch again and I actually want to try and speak English from that one because I know a lot of people from all over the world are following me and they want to know what I'm doing and what I'm up to right now because uh, I used to have a big following and uh, email lists of hundreds of hundreds of thousands of people which I will deleted again and decided to do different every time I try to do something else I I delete everything why don't ask me why uh, because it feels better for me but it's just the way I live maybe a habit that I should break some sort of break you know so but here I am right now with this new habit of mine which I'm trying to create which is vlogging producing something sharing what I know sharing who I am and is this real that's the question of course because I know some vloggers and they usually live two lives one life is the online life which is all perfect and everything and then they have this other life where they uh, where they also live um, and where they live totally different from what they do normally and um, I always thought, well, I don't want to do vlogging, I don't want to do any of that stuff, I don't want to do YouTube if it's fake. So here I am, uh, on my camera. I don't know if this is fake or not, I don't think so, I'm real, the camera's real, I'm talking about real stuff. I'm trying to explain that I'm trying to let go of habits. I, I just came from my computer because I was, uh, I was a little scared letting go of my computer because now I'm without a computer I also had a not so funny experience yesterday I think if you see the video from yesterday I broke down my uh, girlfriend's car and now it's probably beyond repair so it was something that she put a lot of time and effort into she loved that car and I did too but uh, I think I broke it. I put too much oil, oil in it. And the reason that happened was because I wasn't 100% there with my um, mind. Because I was elsewhere. Because I wanted to do some other things. You know, I wanted to dance. I told you in the video yesterday I wanted to dance and I put too much oil in it. I'm not a very good with vehicles in general. And now this happened. So that sucks. But. 
that's part of life. I had, have led to go of so many things and now this thing is not even mine so it's extra shit because it's not my property you know you're breaking someone else's property and obviously I'm gonna try to uh, replace that for her or find something that that um, to make it up or whatever you know some things you cannot make up because this is just something that she put so much time and effort and love into and she trusted me with this vehicle and I broke it down so that sucks but that's also life at least it's also my life and I want to be honest so I'm sharing this as well nonetheless I think if you want to let go of old habits what this video is supposed to be about then I think the most important thing is that you uh, realize that it's a process you cannot change something overnight just like that it just rarely works that way at least for me it does I'm, I try to do it sometimes or I try to um, just let go of something for example one of my habits I want to break is eating cheese I eat a lot of cheese I'm a Dutchman well I am from Holland apparently that makes you a Dutchman and apparently then you have to like cheese so that's an identity that I gave myself which obviously doesn't make any sense because if I was not born in Holland or if you would take me out of Holland I suddenly would not be a Dutchman anymore and if there's a country without cheese or without the Dutch cheese, I probably wouldn't even eat it. Eat it. So, uh, yeah, that's just the way it works. Hey, that's my neighbor. He's uh, playing some frisbee. So I just said hello. Um, you know what it is? If you want to break these patterns, it's about uh, your identity and how you think that, that it's your perception of things, how you look at things. If you think that that's part of you, and it's very hard to let go of these things. Apparently, I still think that the computer is part, has to be part of me. Why? I don't know. So, I even call myself sometimes a technological Rasta. Why? I don't know. Because apparently that's right now who I still am. And that's all right, because it's a process. I don't, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. Um, I'm just me, you're just, you're just you. And uh, we're trying to live our lives, and we're trying to change some habits. Um, one of these habits for me is the computer, so I want to let go of screens. And while I am doing that, I want to replace it with something different, which is this camera, which is vlogging, which is producing. So, that's the way I try to do it right now. And uh, it's a process. It's step by step by step. And I'll fall back and I'll go forward, and I'll fall back and I'll go forward. As long as I'm taking two steps forward, things will go well. So, selling the computer, I feel was a good decision. It was a difficult decision, it was a scary decision, but it feels like a good decision to me. So then, and now this also feels like a good decision to try and be honest through vlogging, try, try and be honest through video. Don't share a double life, but share what's real. Share who I am as a, person because you're a person I'm a person I'm right here right now a light inside a shell that's what I the way I see it and uh, I want to try and spread positive energy I want to try and spread change I want to try and spread something that um, is compassionate that's helping other people it's something I've wanted to do for my entire life and I've been doing it my entire life, or at least trying to. Probably made a lot of mistakes along the way. Yeah, I'm trying. And I hope you're trying too. Because that's all we need to do. And if I'm trying to change who I am, and you're trying to change who you are for the positive, then I think we can uh, expect to, live, to be in a different planet very soon. Uh, all we can do and all we are is that we are responsible for ourselves. We're not responsible for someone else. I can blame anybody else for me being behind the computer all my life. But I made that decision. And now I have to deal with the consequences. That's karma. And um, it's the same for you. So you have to deal with the things that you have done. You can blame everybody, but in the end, we make our own decisions. We have the power over our lives. And uh, I also have these moments where I'm, you know,
know, these fallbacks, I don't know how you call it in English per se, it's just, you have these moments where you're trying to achieve something and it's not working out yet, not yet, but you're getting there. And that's what it's about, I think. Just trying to let go of all these things and just doing things with intent, with uh, awareness. Trying to do things with awareness, that everything you're doing, whether it's eating, meditating, blogging, uh, even video games, if you're trying to do it with intent, I think you'll live a more full, filled life. Full, fulfilled life. It's a good word. Fulfilled. So yeah. I think that's what I wanted to share today. So tell me your habits. Tell me some of your pa patterns that you want to let go of. And that you want to replace with something else. And maybe we as a community can help each other. So if you comment something down below, and someone else can comment maybe something that's not exactly that, but it's something that you might enjoy and might suit you as a person or who you want to be in your life because we can choose who we want to be in this life. I want to be an online artist. I want to be a vlogger. I like that. I like sharing my thoughts and emotions and talking. I like talking, you know, I like talking. So. Yeah. Share it. And uh, maybe we can help each other. I think we can. Also, uh, for the YouTube algorithm, for us to uh, uh, be able to do things or like hack the YouTube in an honest way, I think it would be positive if you put give this thing a thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe to this channel because I'm not going to be on Facebook as much anymore. Uh, I'm not gonna be on uh, Instagram as much anymore. Well, Instagram will keep on running, but someone, a friend of mine in Nepal, his name is Amrit, he's doing our Instagram right now. He has 26,000 followers. He's a great guy and I trust him. And uh, if you wanna know how I do all of these things and if you want help with your anything, just let me know. I've helped hundreds of people for the last 10 years as a mindset mentor to change your thoughts, to change your beliefs, your limiting beliefs and to become who you want to be because you have a choice and sometimes you just need a little nudge, a little help and uh, apparently I'm pretty good at that. I don't work cheap that way, you'll just have to pay me because I want to take care of my family too. And, uh, but I can help you, that's for sure. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.